a lower percentage is it would actually um, do it would actually be a uh, jab reset. But looks like K9 and Void are going straight into it. Yeah, they're gonna go not right even, into it and not giving me time to talk at all. No, K9 doesn't like this uh, Sheik Ditto at all. He usually goes. Uh, Did he? he usually goes Diddy. Yeah. So I'm not sure why he's going Sheik. Maybe because they both live in the same, the same house. They both the resident uh, Sky Housers. So, who knows? Maybe they play a lot and K9 likes this matchup more, but Maybe. either way, gonna be a hype set. Ooh, air dodge is just in time. Void uh, trying to do his classic uh, down air on stage uh, two frames, but uh, doesn't get it connected. Ooh, scary stuff there. Now, this matchup. I can say very confidently is even. Mainly because they play the exact same game. But historically, these two players pretty much go back and forth. Okay. And the thing is, Void has more characters that he can use if he needs to as counterfix, while K9 pretty much just has Diddy. And yeah. Void doesn't like the Diddy matchup. Ooh. Who was that? K. No, was Void. K9. Oh, yeah, K. Wow, okay. K9 uh, got the air out and got an up air off of it. So uh, that's going to be the sock. Pretty early considering uh, Sheik Ditto percentages, actually. Good recovery there by K9. Got hit by the needles. I don't. Oh, nah, yeah. That was, I don't uh, think he's going to come back from that. Whoa. Oh, wow. That, that was a backflip uh, Nair. Interesting stuff for Void. But, uh, we're wow. going to get another co Void combo right now. He wanted that fast fall up air uh, re grab. Mm -hmm. It's not a true combo anymore after they patch the up air landing leg, but it's still really good mix up. It's like it's about the same as uh, King Dignity has an up air reset like that. Right. But uh, the Smash Bros. platform kind of interrupted it there. So yeah. Void isn't going to get the full bread and butter off of it. All right, now K9, it's K9's turn to apply the pressure, but a good spot dodge reading the grab, and uh, K9 is uh, in an offstage situation right now. Yeah, and he's in a situation where even if he attacks on damage to Void, Void still is remaining this, uh, holding on to the stage control. These characters are just going back and forth with like edge guard situations right now. This is a, uh, this could be anyone's game. Yeah, but the thing is, Void is pretty much maintaining the stage presence the entire time, and. Well, now K9 has the stage presence. All right, that's cool. Whatever. Right, it gets a quick up air off of it, and uh, pr yeah, pretty much anyone's game right now. <laughs> Just uh, four tilted out. <laughs> I'd be. I'm curious to see wh whoever wins this will the other person counterfeit. Because yeah. I think I think they both went chic because neither of them wanted to counterpick. Yeah. Because exactly. if they counterpick, that they they would just go back and forth to like yeah, counterpick. So I guess like dittos for the blind pick, and then maybe. Uh, Maybe we yeah. can see the boss. Because I feel like if Void, if Void wins this, he might just want to switch Mewtwo because he, he hates the Sheik Diddy matchup. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if K9 wins this, he might just want to switch Diddy Kong because. I don't know. I yeah, have Dittos, no idea. Dittos are really weird. So Sheik Dittos are really slow. Uh, they take a long time as well because both the characters or the character struggles with uh, uh, killing if you get to really high percentages as well. Yeah, and, and K9 F with a oh four my kill. God. almost killed actually. Oh, it looked like it almost killed. Okay, Ooh. K9. All, All right. right. So and Void taking that game one with the back air. Uh, that was unfortunate di on K9's part. All right, we got Kiraflex uh, hopping up next to K9, going for some uh, coaching right now. I'm not sure what he's saying. I can't and read uh, this from this far. Oh, there's <laughs> the same character. Wow, okay, they're just going right back into it. And uh, uh, Caraflex drags his chair across and uh, goes back to where he, uh, you didn't really need to take the chair, but anyway, <laughs> that does not matter. What matters right now is that we're back on Sheik Diddles uh, on Smash Bros. once again. K9 deciding to go, and he's doing something very differently uh, that oh being able to catch uh, Void's uh, approaches right now. Yeah, this is a very different K9 that we're seeing. This is exactly what I was talking about last set, where K9 can play so, so different. Mm -hmm. Just like one one game apart, this is an entirely new Sheik. Trying to apply pressure just by having uh, aerial presence right now, and it's actually working. Uh, Voice has been kind of playing the getaway game right now. And he has an opportunity to snuff some damage, but uh, a trade is going to leave him in Edgeguard's new situation again. That was scary. But Void, just like that, evened it up. Once you get Sheik to that, like, 
or once she combos you to like a certain position, there's pretty much nothing else they could do. It's all just like 50, like not even. Oh, what the heck? The, the, okay, the buddy. Side, <laughs> the side hitbox of uh, Up Smash somehow getting the kill. I guess Void wasn't expecting that. I don't that think it two frames. I think Void just extended his hurtbox and that down smash, uh, that Up Smash just kind of clipped him. Yeah. Beautiful confirmed there by Void. We kidding there. I think that could have confirmed an Up Smash, but he's the sheep player. Try getting the needle bouncing fish, but uh, Kenan wasn't at the right angle for it. <laughs> They're just bouncing fishing each other right now. I mean, what else do you expect? <laughs> for boy, trying to, boy trying to do the same that what uh, Kenan did to. Uh, okay, boy Void. Out. Wow. Void did not let Kenan tack on any percent after taking that stuff. I know, just like that, Void is taking the lead back. Kenan has a little bit of uh, advantage right now, but. Uh, Boy's gonna take that back uh, with Just a like quick, that. Little, with quick little combo. Wow, Void is looking so good. Yeah, Void's decision making uh, during that one sequence was just really amazing. Just crouching and then immediately going for a board tilt, knowing that uh, K9 did the wrong approach option. Offstage situation, K9 almost actually getting that forward air, beautiful air dodge by Void. That's the thing about the nose, is you know exactly what your opponent can do. Mm -hmm. And it's it's so volatile. <laughs> Alright, Void going for a very, very hard uh, diamond cutter read, but uh, doesn't get it. And K9 is able to put on a little bit more damage. Now he's in the lead, about three minutes on the clock. Four tilt up air, uh, classic uh, four, oh, there classic it is. combos, and uh, wow. Void takes game two very, very solidly. Yeah, Void with the beautiful F tilt conversion is now one game away from taking this tournament. This could possibly be the last game of this tournament. Void might just 3 0 okay, K9. Void has only dropped one game this entire tournament. And it was too uh, elegant. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, sorry, dropped two games. They're both elegant. So. Let's see what's going to happen here in Game 3. Back to Sheikville. K9 let out a little bit of a, a yell there. This is, uh, Getting uh, hyped his, up. His signature Tarzan yell. Oh, oh no. No, nah. okay. no. Nah, nah. okay, She's okay. got, like, great recovery. Okay. Yeah. I, I was a little worried for some reason. I, I guess I was still in the Falcon mindset of watching Kessa, you know? True, true. Wow, that was that was really beautiful. <laughs> Can, uh, Void's movement is arguably one of the best... In, in the entire world. Like, he has some amazing movement. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, K9 uh, applying more pressure. Uh, has a little bit of a 10% lead. Whips a grab, but because of Cheek's uh, frame data, is able to get a little bit of retaliation. Void right back on it, though. Not giving K9 uh, room to breathe right now. These two players are just on top of each other. I think Void is more on the side of just reacting to see what can I look at that did you see that he just yeah. dashed in and just grabbed can I right out of whatever can I wanted to do and voice is being really really smart and intelligent knowing what can I wants to do oh beautiful read there not gonna get the stock but getting on the extra percent and another gonna maintain this edge guard position now as we've seen already though uh, Sheik, Sheik Ditto is very very volatile it can go back and forth for days so Let's see uh, who's going to close out the stock first. I think that's going to determine the momentum of this uh, third game here in the set. Absolutely. And the down tilt almost converted into that up air kill for Void. This is a very, very even game right now. Uh, I think he wanted, I think he was trying to see if he could get an up smash, but uh, that down tilt uh, didn't, wasn't able to give him anything. Good up air coming back on the stage. K9 now in a position of power here. Mm -hmm. Edge guard situation again. K9 uses double jump really, really quickly though, so he doesn't able to get wow. anything off of it. K9 with a raw bouncing fish. Yelling out, let's go and getting close <laughs> to the screen. And, and Void answers right back with a bouncing fish of his own. Bouncing like fish Fridays. Looking like an aquarium ran out of water or something because there's just fish is flopping everywhere right now. <laughs> Seriously, this is bouncing fish Fridays. <laughs> We need more Falcon mains here, man. <laughs> we do. Oh my god, Void! 
Boyd with a good old Void combo. Just Amazing. 51% right there. That was incredible. Void maintaining the pressure as well. Uh, oh, uh, miss okay, input there. Questionable uh, grenade right there. Yeah, definitely a miss input. Yeah, but only only 11% um, punish from K9 right there. Yeah. I guess uh, she, one thing about Sheik is that you can't get a really, really big punish off of just like one smash attack or something. K9 is literally letting out a sound every time he hits Void. Look out! Yeah! Yeah! I, I, yeah. Have, I have one ear open right now. Just to, just to I love the passion! K9! <laughs> An amazing edge guard situation there by K9. Almost took that sock. Gets to grab again, but uh, Void air dodges out of it, knowing that uh, K9 was going to go for the quick one. Now Void's turn to respond here. A little bit of an edge guard situation. Alrighty. And K9 has a little bit of advantage right now, but oh my! Void's just having trouble getting back on stage right now. K9 bringing this all the way back. Beautiful pivot grab! Edge guard situation not quite connecting to Void! Yeah, Void got a little desperate with that force smash and uh K9 just answer with a back air. Can this be what K9 needs? Yeah, K9 starting to fish. I don't know if that was a miss input or if he was going with that down smash. Ooh, okay. Gets gets the bouncing fish hitbox somehow. This is uh this is really, really uh scary for Void. Actually for both players. Ooh, really, really good recovery there. I thought he might have accidentally hit the bottom of the stage. This is coming down to last hit here. So one up air from either of these two. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Ooh, dash attack. Boy, the dash Whoa. attack actually took it. All right. That is the tournament void. 3-0 in K9 for Grand Finals. Very, very close last game. What a, what My a God. interesting finish to Falcon Punch Friday after all the insane hype we've had uh, up until this point.